Hello! Thanks for joining us. In this video, you'll learn more about conditional formatting with data bars in Excel. For this lesson, we'll be using the Employment Dataset. In our video tutorial, Introducing Conditional Formatting, we showed you data bars as a way to display miniature bars, almost like a bar chart, in our spreadsheet. In this video, we'll go into some additional detail on how to work with data bars. Begin by selecting the salary field in the worksheet, cells G2 to G100. Click on the conditional formatting button, then data bars, to see the basic preset selections. You can choose from gradient fills and solid fills. Here, I'll choose a basic blue with a gradient fill. The data bars show the relative magnitude of each salary compared to the rest of the salaries. But, like other types of conditional formatting, we can change the meaning of these values. Let's reselect the data and open the editing dialog box for this rule. Conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule, and then edit. We can show data bars for values that fall between a specific minimum and maximum value, while hiding all others. Change the Type drop-down menus to Number. Then we'll enter 100,000 for the minimum salary, and 150,000 for the maximum salary. Now the data bars will only show for the salaries between these two values, 100,000 and 150,000. We can also choose to use percentiles of the distribution. Reselect the data and go back to the editing dialog box. Now we can change the minimum and maximum types to percentiles. The default is to show bars between the 10th and 90th percentile of the distribution, but we can change this to other values if we want. Let's enter the 20th percentile for the minimum and the 80th percentile for the maximum. Now the data bars are hidden for those employees in the upper and lower 20 percentiles of the distribution. But there's another cool feature of data bars in Excel. Notice that all of the data bars for salary start on the left side of the cell and go in the same direction. Instead, we can choose to show the data in a different way. We'll begin by adding a new field in column I. I'll label this field in cell 1 AVG DEV for average deviation. Next, in cell I2, we'll enter the following formula equals G2 minus average G2 to G100. Here I use the absolute reference to compute the average of all the salaries. This formula will compute the deviation of each employee's salary from the average salary for all employees. Now copy this formula down from H2 to H100. I'll reformat the cells for currency 
and so that the salaries below the average start with a negative sign. Now let's add data bars to this new field. This time I'll go with solid blue bars. Here we can see that positive values have blue bars going to the right and negative values have red bars going to the left. Since we don't really care what the exact dollar difference is, let's show only the data bars and not the actual numbers. Let's reselect the data and then go back to the conditional formatting editing dialog box. Now, check the Show Bar Only box. Now, we only see the positive and negative bars in column I, representing salaries that are either above or below the average salary for all employees. If we go back to the editing dialog one last time, we can change the formatting for the negative bars. Click on the Negative Value and Axis button to change how the negative bars look, including their fill and border colors, and the way they move away from the positive bars or in the same direction. Since I like the way these bars look right now, I'll leave this alone, but now you know how to access it. This has been an example of how to use and format data bars in Excel 2010. In the next video, we'll show you how to use conditional formatting based on formulas and functions. I'll see you in the next video.